and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com, where we teach you all about gardening in the great indoors. If you'd like to support our show, please use our Amazon affiliate link below. Today, another viewer-inspired video. This one was inspired by Christina Hutchinson, who asked, How does water with high iron affect houseplants? This is a really good question because there are areas of the world where there is water that is high in iron in terms of tap water, so what would be available for watering plants. Also, well water can be high in iron, so this is uh, something to definitely keep in mind if you think that your water may be high in iron. So first of all, iron is an essential nutrient for plants. It functions uh, in, in a way where it helps helps plants photosynthesize and even breathe. While some iron is beneficial for houseplants, too much can be a problem. Iron can be toxic when it accumulates to high levels. So excess iron in the water settles in the soil. It can affect the plant's synthesis, as mentioned, photosynthesis, and then also of the chlorophyll and nutrient absorption. So signs of too much iron in the soil and then in showing up in your plants would be weakened growth and yellowing or patches of different shades of green in the leaves. And I'm putting a photo here for you to show you a plant that does have some, some problems with high iron. So other classic symptoms of high iron toxicity are leaf discoloration in terms of bronzing and then stunted or stunted root system. So if you go to repot a plant or you're looking at the, the roots of a plant that is having some problems growing and doesn't seem to be growing really well and you see a stunted root system, you, it could be high iron in the water. Now, it could also be other, many other reasons for that, including root rot, but if you have ruled everything else out and you do suspect your water is high in iron or you know that the area is to be common, it's a common problem or it's very common in your area, then it very well could be coming from the iron. Some plants that would be more, there's some plants are gonna be more affected than others. Dracaenas tend to have long, strappy leaves as, as to do a lot of other types of plants. Uh, but these are, these are, these plants are, are well known for, for storing up various um, minerals in their leaves. Uh, they also do that with chlorine and fluoride. I have a video on that. I'll link that below and anything else I mentioned in this video as well. So that usually shows up as tip burn. So that, that could be another thing that happened with iron, but more likely that the discoloration in the leaves themselves. Uh, so, and, and keeping in mind that some plants are gonna be more prone to it than others. And this is three Dracaenas here uh, today with us. So as mentioned, iron can be common. So what do you do then if you know that and, and you're not sure what to do? So there's a couple of ways to deal with this. The first is to use filtered water on your plants that are showing signs of too much iron. So you could either use reverse osmosis through a reverse osmosis system, or there are the portable ones that you can use and the ones that generally you would put in the fridge for cool water, but you could keep it on the counter and use the, and filter the water that way as well. So that's a good, those are good solutions. Uh, uh, some people will ask, well, what about distilled water or bottled water? Those can be solutions too, but it can get a little bit pricey. So that's why I suggest the reverse osmosis. If you can filter and filter the water, if you can, that, that will help considerably. Also changing the soil more regularly. So the iron is going to build up in the soil. It's going to store up in the soil. So if, you're ha if you do know that your water is high in iron or you suspect it is, repotting your plants on a more regular basis will help with this because you will be putting in new soil to replace that soil that has the iron in it. And that will really help the plants uh, get by basically to be okay with the, with the iron. Of course, it's gonna build up again, you're gonna to have to repot again, but that is another solution that may be easier, uh, an easier solution. And you could do it in conjunction with filtering uh, to make sure if, it's, if it, you're having a lot of problems. Another thing you can do is leach the soil periodically with filtered water. Uh, you could do it with distilled water, you could do it with uh, spring water, and what leaching means is it's rinsing, the, basically rinsing the houseplant soil, so you would rinse that, the, the soil 
quite a so depending on the size of the pot so here this pot you're supposed to do at least three times the amount of the size of the pot but in the condition of with this condition of iron problems I would say ten times so just rinse out you would have maybe a couple gallons go through that little pot or at least a gallon go through that little pot to rinse the soil that will help as well the anything that is accumulated in the soil so those are some ways to deal with it uh, obviously first trying to figure out if that is the issue uh, go through other possibilities first of course although if you do know your area is definitely prone to higher water high in iron then you already have more information there to work with so there you go for that question. How does water with high iron affect houseplants? Thank you for stopping by today. Please leave any comments about any indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And please check the bell if you'd like to be notified when new videos are released.